Hi everyone, in this video, we'll talk about the 52 week high price, how to get that information and how to get that information with respect to a particular date. So in the previous video, we got how to get price at a particular date. Let's say today is 29 February. If you want the price, which was on 16 February, how to get that in one cell without getting a grid of information, right? So let's just revise that once more so that we can then jump onto the 52 week high and the 52 week low price. So right now I'm on cell E564, right? And I'll just start with the Google finance function. The ticker is in cell D564 and I want the price, right? Starting date is in cell E563, which is minus one and E563, which is the end date. And I want on a daily time frame. If you don't understand this formula, I highly encourage you to watch the previous video in this series because every video is an incremental upgrade and I keep on adding information while solving for more and more variables, right? So now when I click enter, you'll see we get information in four cells, but I'm only interested in the information that is there in cell uh, in the bottom right of the cell, which is second row and second column. So just like in previous video, I'll wrap it around in an index function, which indicates second row, second column, and I'll get the information in the first cell. And now I copy paste that at the bottom. Now this will be the price for SBIN and the first price is for ITC. Now what to do for 52 week high, right? Let's start with the Google finance function again. V2 is equal to, and I press the Google finance function. Now this is the closing price. First of all, we need the high price, right? So first let's change the column to a high. So the high price on 29th February, 2024 was 411, right? But I need the high price of 52 weeks, right? So what can we do here? Hmm. Maybe change the time frame to correspond to 52 weeks. Yes, we can, but we'll get a large row or, or a large uh, data frame. Once we do that, we'll have exactly 365 rows or in fact, 250 rows because the weekends will not be there, right? So to do that, and I want the highest price, if I can just wrap it around in a sorting function where I want to sort the second column where the price will be, and I want a descending sort, right? And if I do that, I immediately get an error because I cannot sort like this. What we can do here is wrap it in an index function and get the second answer. Yes. So now we have 499.7 is the 52 week high of this script called ITC. Now just look closely what we have done. We use the Google finance function to create, create a data frame sorted the second column of the data frame and then pulled the second row and the second column because once we sort it in a descending order we'll have the highest of the highest price on the top right so in short that gives me the 52 week high price now if i copy paste that at the bottom we'll get the 52 week high price for sbin now similarly if you want to calculate a 52 week low what changes do we need to do here we need to do we need to change high to low Sorting will be true because we want to sort it in an ascending manner, right? And then once we sort it in an ascending manner, the lowest of the lowest price will come on the top, right? So highest of the highest when we sort it in descending, lowest of the lowest when we sort it in ascending. And similarly, index of second row and second column will give you the low answer. And we get 372. And for SBIN, we get 503.45. Now let's see what the market price of 29 February is nearer to 52 week high or nearer to 52 week low. So to do that, we'll just calculate a simple return, right? This divided by 52 week high minus one. And we see that currently the market price of ITC is 18.7% lower than the 52 week high. Similarly, the price right now with respect to 52 week low will be this minus one. So right now, SBIN is very closer to its 52 week high, whereas ITC is much closer to its 52 week low. So this is the information we can get when we just, you know, try to play around with 52 week high or 52 week low. 
In the previous video, I used the query function to get the, the price that we wanted, but an index function with the second row, second column command can also be used if you are using sorting in a particular way. I hope you learned something from this video and I'll try to tackle another question, another fun question in the next one. Thank you for watching. Cheers.